this this is a nice map too it seems a little too for me personally it feels a little open for certain <sighs> all right i think i was a little wrong about this map i mean it is really a good map there is strategy that you can implement in this it's big enough so that way you can move to places quickly and there's enough cover so that way you're not always out in the open unless you're breaking the gem or placing it and i would like to use this game as an example and i'll give a rundown through each event all right it's the start of the game and i have a certain route i like to take when i'm on this side so first i just pop out right here to see if i can catch anyone and you know i just kind of catch that guy off spawn a little sad for him i see this other guy i kind of have bad aim so i almost do die also can we rewind a little bit I notice this guy on the corner of my screen. So I take into consideration, okay, this guy probably sees me killing his teammate. He's gonna go for me next. So I'm gonna have to snap onto him when I see him. Anyways, let's continue on with the match. I see that I only have 60 HP. This guy, he probably has a little more as I can see right here. So I run around the corner so that way I can get out of the fire. And I end up catching this guy off guard. And then I run around and I see that, oh shoot, he's fighting, I can help the teammate. So I try to save him. I don't get to save him, but I do end up scoring the kill, which ends up having our team win. Now let's talk about a different map made by the same person, Skywalk. Now, when I first saw North, I was like, this map looks pretty good. Until actually playing it, I've just realized how bad it is. And I don't think it really is that good for a search and destroy map. Now, I want to talk about the points on this map. So first, let's talk about point A. Now, I would like to first talk about point A. And first is this side. It's very hard to get into as where you need to go around everything. And then once you get here, you can just get easily killed. This side, I mean, you can just be anywhere on this side and you'll just die. Because it's very easy to track someone like this and it's just a bad spot. This side is only really good if people don't check behind here. But if someone checks behind you, you're cooked. Like, you're done for. And there's not really that many good attack options. I mean, this one's probably the best one out of all of them. Though, I usually like to go in from the back. Whoa. Pause. And just because no one ever really checks there. But if someone does check there, you're probably cooked. Alright, now let's talk about point B. Point B has really honestly three main points that you can just defend. So first, this one. If this one's okay. I mean, you have to watch from this door, that door, and that door right there. And you honestly can't really see uh, that door right there whenever you're like just trying to scope in because it's really easy to get through. Okay, let's talk about this room now. Um, honestly, I would say it's probably one of the better ones out of all of them, though it is harder. Now, there is this door that is easily accessible to, and you just can't see at all, so you have to be really careful. There's that door right there, which gives a clear sight line to wherever you are, as long as you're standing far enough back. The only problem is though, is that most of the time, you can't even see the gem whenever you stand all the way back. So you have to stand up more forward, which can hurt you in the long run. And now there's this point, probably being one of the better points, because you can well easily see all the way down there. You can see those two. And you can also see whoever's gonna take the gem. The only problem is, is that you're very like open so it's a lot harder to actually defend. Oh yeah, and Sleet exists too, I guess. 
Anyways, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I love you all. Bye bye.